Welcome to Progressive Automation's YouTube channel. Today we're showing our new PA35 Wi-Fi control box. Now the neat thing about this new control box is it allows you to control up to four actuators individually or simultaneously with your uh, iPhone, iOS, or with an Android. Today we're going to show you an example with an Android. Uh, as you can see I already have four actuators connected to the control box. The control box is connected to uh, DC 12 volts power. Now you'll notice here there are three lights here from right to left. You only see two lit up right now. The first light indicates this power to the control box. The second light indicates that the control box is emitting a Wi-Fi signal. And the third light will light up once we connect to the control box with our Android tablet. Once you've downloaded and installed the PA35 actuator controller app and you've turned on the, actuator, the PA35, the next thing you want to do is connect to it. You go into your Wi-Fi connection. You can see here it's named the Wi-Fi control box test. When you receive the unit, uh, you'll have instructions on how to change the SSID and also change the password so you can secure it for yourself. For now, we'll just connect to this control box. Once it's connected, the third light on the control box will light up. But for now, what we'll do is we'll go into the app. It's called Actuator Controller and has the Progressive Automations logo on it. Once you're in the app, you'll see there's a, a series of buttons. Uh, I can go over everything here. First at the top, it's labeled first, second, third, and fourth. This is for each of your actuators. You can rename it to something else like passenger door, trunk, whatever your application needs. Uh, directly under that, it has the type of functions for each of the actuators. So it has uh, TOG, which means toggle, which is non-momentary and then MOM is momentary and then the off button. The off button is for when you're using multiple actuators you only want to say use two out of the four you can turn the other two off. So simply once you have the actuator app here in front of you you can hit the up button actuator starts moving hit the up button again it'll stop same thing going down. You can also put it into momentary function which means you have to hold as long as you want the unit to move. Once you let go it automatically stops you can hear it running in the background there. Uh, under that we have the multiple actuator button. So as I was saying before, if you wish to say turn off two actuators, I mean you can run all four if you wish, but just for an example if you want to turn off two actuators, you hit the up button, two sets of actuators will start moving, hit the down button, the same two retract. Under here is a delay, so if you're going to use the multiple actuator button and you want to say delay the first actuator, you want to hit you want to have all of them extending but the first one you want it to have a five second delay before it starts moving that's when you would put in the delay button and in here you can put in anywhere from one second to 999 seconds the last option is the record feature now this is a really cool feature basically what it does is it allows you to record a sequence of events that you get the actuator to say extend retract um, and then save that recording name it as a preset and then be able to replay those actuators in that same sequence anytime you need. So I'll show you a quick example here. We'll hit the record button. You'll notice it'll ask you to retract all the actuators. Once you retract them all, you can hit continue. You'll see that it's started recording already. You can hit up, stop it, go down, hit the other one up, stop that one, go down. Uh, once you're done recording, you can hit the stop button. It asks you to rename it. We'll call this test one. And then hit OK. Once the test has been saved, at the top left hand corner you'll see the actuator controller icon. When you click that, it shows the option for manual control and any of your presets. So we did a preset of test one. You can go into test one and you have the option to play. So once you play it, it'll go through that exact same sequence. stop when it's done. Now you have the option to record up to five presets and each preset can have a recording up to 30 minutes. If you have any additional questions about the, uh, our actuator controller feel free to give us a call at 800-676-6123 or email us at info at progressiveautomations.com.